Sleep the time away, I'll wait for you Push me deep beneath your skin Push me deep beneath your skin Let me run inside your heart Take me down, trick me in Take me on your medicine
Finals, the finals, we made it. 
Okay, yeah. so welcome to everybody who, who tuned in. Uh, as I said, these are the finals of the Tea Time Talent Show. Many have fought and many have fallen. There are four producers left. And, um, well, there can only be one winner. Well, that's not completely true, actually. Because, to be quite honest, we loved every single track that has been uh, that has made it to the finals. So we decided... Uh, can, we, can we get some drums going or something? Do you want some drums? Yeah, do, do you got that? Okay, we decided... <laughs> Every single producer who made it to the finals will get a release at High Team Music. So congratulations to all of you. Yeah, the tunes were just but, too good. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not all. Like we said before, there's more. There's more than just a release. The the person who wins this final will get. I want more. I want drums again. I want the drums again. Can you do that? <laughs> he loves drums. A DJ slot at one of our events. So, All right. we're about to find out who will win this crazy, crazy, beautiful, the, the best of the best prizes in the world. <laughs> who's, who's, who's it going to be? Well, we'll decide that today. Oh, and as a bonus, you also get the number one spot on the release. Uh, I think, uh, how are we going to call the release? We haven't even decided that. But we don't know, but we have to plan to release it as as one release, like all the... The Indeed. tunes from the yeah from the Tea Time Talent Show, and you'll get the number one spot. So, I mean, that's all the fame you need, right? You can Lots die of exposure. Now. That's what you do it for. <laughs> 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 well, the first years of being an artist is all about exposure. So, kind of yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so like oh, to man. summarize, every every single one of you guys will get a release, but the winner. Well, today's winner will get the number one spot on this release. Plus, we're throwing in we're, we're throwing in a DJ slot, so um, I think the stakes are high, right? Yeah, Definitely. it's exciting. Definitely. Okay, so um, the winner will be based upon our own view. So we'll be looking at the original track that you send us, plus the assignment you've done for us, and also it will be based upon the view from Echo Sidetrack, who will join in later today. And finally, there will also be a poll, like before, in which the, everybody who's watching now can vote for their favorite release, uh, release their favorite uh, remix, <laughs> and we'll also consider that. So, I think uh, all has been said and done, and we can continue, right? Yeah. Um, all right. Oh, uh, buy our merch! Buy our merch! Damn it! Yeah, you can buy see it in merch. the screen. <laughs> Buy the merch. <laughs> Buy the merch it's and a, keep us alive. It, it's a simple way to save us because, as you know, we don't do parties right now. But we do sell merch and we release music. So play our music, buy our merch, and we will and send we'll you lots of love. Forever. Yeah. We'll make love to you forever. I mean, we'll love you forever. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Hey, okay, Robin. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's time to take a look at the artists um, we have right now. Uh, but before we go listen to everybody's remix, um, I'm gonna play the tunes uh, we have in the in this finale. Uh, we have a tune from Carrier from Frank Lemon, uh, two tunes from Method, and from Skyfade. And uh, we're not gonna go into these tunes right now uh, that much. Uh, because you've already heard them in the previous episodes. Um, but I do want to play a bit of those tunes for you uh, once again, so you remember what the tunes were. And then after that, we're going to play you the remixes everybody did of the um, Tea Time Talent Show jingle. So, all right, uh, let's play these remixes and we'll be back in three minutes. Oops, a mistake. We're not going to play the remixes, the originals. So thank you for correcting play the originals. me, Philip. So maybe for the people, for the people at home, well, like, what, what the plan the, is... The, I, the isolation from the corona is starting to get at my brain, I think. It's <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a word for that, right? So people, so yeah, it's... Uh, kind of go slowly insane. Uh, the cabin, cabin fever, right? Ke I think it's something like that. Like, like when you're fever. isolated and don't have a lot of light and you start to feel uh, yeah, a bit foggy. You start to feel like Robin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Robin fever. All right, we're going to play you the, the tunes now that are through to the finals, not the remixes. You will hear those after. Here we go.
All right, there we are again. Wow. For the Stay people that, uh, that just tuned in, uh, these were the tunes that made it uh, through to this final round. Uh, and what we're going to do now is we're going to play the remixes uh, those finalists made because we've heard their tunes in the previous rounds um, and we wanted to give them a challenge um, uh, and see if they could come up with a remix in a, in a, in a week. And it didn't have to be what? a perfect remix. Um, it, it, uh, uh, it, it should be about the idea. And so they remix a Tea Time talent show jingle and... I think we should just uh, go to the first remix. I think we remix. really messed some people over. I think we yeah. really messed some people over by asking this. Yeah, exactly. Because it was a very last minute assignment. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what it's all about, you know. We yeah. want to know how these people could react to like quick changes. Because obviously when you're a producer, you always have to deal with deadlines and they're always too soon. And it, it's so it's good curious. to know that because when we sign somebody, it's also an investment, and we rather invest in somebody who's able to come up with new ideas quickly instead of somebody who just makes one song and then nothing. So yeah, it's it's a way to prove yourself as a producer. Um, so what have they yeah, done? Yeah, the first one, uh, Carrier. Um, he made a remix, and I'm gonna play you a video right now in which he explains what he did with the original. So here we go. Hi there guys, Carrier here. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing a little bit about the whole process on how I got the ideas for the uh, remix for the jingle. And um, I'll show you that right now. So um, the way this whole thing kind of came together is um, I had the main melody over here. And I wanted to kind of keep that throughout the track. Now, um, what I did that, it, there is I had a couple serum bases, for example, this thing, which I made quite a while ago. And um, I wanted that to like follow, follow the melody. Um, so over here, you might have the... Um, I also wanted to include some vocal chops in there. So I had a track where I put the vocal sample in simpler and then I just kind of sampled that and read it all of that. So that sounds kind of like... And like, I mean, it sounds weird, but in the original track, it, it perhaps makes a little bit more sense. Anyway, those were some of the interesting parts of the creation of that track. And um, I hope you like it. Cheers. All right. Um... So yeah, it's nice to see he went uh, crazy with chopping up the vocals and everything. And the fun part is now you get to hear the result of what he did. Right, let's man. give him a hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's it's so funny to hear because we we got lots more obviously, but this is the first one we played, and it's so fun to hear what people came up with and to hear this cheesy jingle into a drum and bass tune. You know, it's hilarious. Yeah, man. there's so many they made so many translations out of this, and uh, yeah, it, it really surprised me to be honest that people even managed to create something okay. Yeah. 
when hearing yeah, that, that that's actually decent be, yeah because this is this is a, a pretty decent demo you know if we would I'm, uh, I'm really, get I'm this. really surprised I, yeah we were kind of messing about we were like okay we, we want to give everybody like a challenge which is near to impossible but we'll just give us funny results but in the end, we got pretty serious results, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. But uh, yeah, so, yeah, the, the, well, well. the thing is, um, what I did um, when I like made the, the jingle and made the drum and bass version of that, uh, it was a bit like this, you know? Like, I just I just sidechained the chords and I thought yeah that's that was my way of making it work in a drum and bass tempo but he was really creative with uh, keeping the melody uh, but also making it really different like with with those steps I really like that yeah that's cool plus yeah. I like I like the chopped vocal I'm a sucker for chopped vocals yeah. <laughs> vocal yeah, that's like this old Danny Bird style you know. It's, it's yeah, really nice. it it has it kind of has that feel to it. Yeah. Danny Bird released like a a, a a pack where he did all the all those bootlegs, like the niggas in Paris bootleg, and it's it. This has like the exact same uh, vibe to it. Wait, yeah. is, is that niggas in Paris bootleg from Danny? It is. Damn. Yep. Look it up. Oh, that's the it's one that we I always guess. play. Yeah. No, I, right? I, I I think there there must be like two. I'm I'm quite sure. We play, I think it's a Sub Zeros. I'm pretty sure it is mm. Danny Bird, actually. I'm gonna check it out. Ours okay, doesn't uh, sound like it's Danny Bird. No, definitely doesn't sound no. like Danny Bird, no. Weird. Well, maybe <laughs> maybe like Danny, Danny Bird on drugs or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we shouldn't. We should uh, okay, anyway, back to the track. Okay. Well, yeah. Back to the track, lost. yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, I, I think well done, it's good. Right? Yeah, of, of course, we're not going to bitch about the EQing right now and having the perfect mix because that was not the assignment. The assignment was to come up with, uh, uh, yeah, with a good idea and and he did. Yeah. And we, so and I we like can it. have a laugh. Yeah. So let's, let's get to the next one. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. The next one is from Frank Lemon. Uh, he went through to the finals. <laughs> Frankie. He went through Frankie to the Lamani. finals uh, with his tune Funkster. Uh, and he also made a remix. Um, I'm just going to play you his video. Hey guys. First and foremost, thanks a lot for choosing my track for the final round. It's an honor. Thanks for the feedback as well. And I have to say I was quite thrown off by doing the remix. I mean, the track is quite perfect in itself and it's got fucking stuck in my head for days and nights. But then I threw a bunch of serum at it and let's see and listen what that sounds like. So what I really liked about the track was the orchestral theme at the beginning. And I wanted to enhance on that and put several different um, orchestral instruments in there. Yeah, and on a drop I put a bunch of serum instances in there. Like FM, re-spaces, stuff like that. Copy and pasted these a couple of times and yeah that's basically it so enjoy oh man he really went crazy and i i can't wait to play you this one because it's so epic no, let's go it sounds so good the video the video sounds so good yeah <laughs> Welcome to the Tea Time Talent Show. Just realize it, that's this tune.
no way. Long drop. Yeah. <laughs> it's so sick to see Holy how shit. much effort everyone has put in. Yeah, I, I did not That's expect awesome. that. Uh, to no, be honest, I, I expected because everybody sent in their submission uh, yesterday in the evening. And before that, I was like, is, is anybody really gonna do this? <laughs> you <know? Yeah. laughs> well, you know, I was I was actually kind of disappointed because we did not get a, a single jump up remix. Yeah, that's right. Well, and I was room like, for improvement, okay, you know, if, for if next gonna, time. If you're gonna have to remix something like this crappy, you have to just yeah. do a random intro and then switch to a random jump up drop. But you heard Frank. Uh, he said it was so good and he had it stuck in his head uh, like all week so <laughs> it's pretty good maybe we should just maybe we should just add like uh, like one f extra track to the release for the tea time talent show we, we should just close with one of these remixes <laughs> oh that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> oh shit uh, okay anyway about the we track do uh, what do we yeah. think guys um, yeah, I really liked uh, what he explained in the video that he expanded the whole uh, orchestral part because in the original it was just a small thing, you know, with the staccato strings and uh, and the brass and everything. But he really made this epic uh, brass? Ci cinematic intro. Whose brass? With my brass. Who's brass? Your brass. <laughs> Don't brass shame me. What up, bra? What you what saying, up, bra? bra? <laughs> <laughs> but you're uh, up, bra. We're at this level Sorry, already. I see you. Sorry for that. <laughs> I, so I, re I really like how he expanded that whole thing. Um, and in the beginning, you don't necessarily recognize the theme, but then in the build-up, it the the, the basic uh, tea time talent show theme comes in, and it yeah, it just. Yeah, it, it feels so epic, this bit. And then, yeah, right. the drop is amazing. Like, to, to put that together in a week. Uh, and uh, it already sounds uh, pretty good, you know, uh, for this stage. So, yeah. Man, I seriously, well done. I seriously think this guy should just take, like, the intro. And, I, I mean, we're okay with you stealing this team. And just make it into, a like, a complete track. Exactly, yeah. Also, like, keep it in the vocal. The just have, no, 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 no. Just, just keep it in. Just keep it in. It's good. <laughs> oh man, maybe maybe we should just ask them to send this to a different label and see if they release it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so random <laughs> to get a tune with this vocal. 
<laughs> no man, but seriously, job well done, man. I I love the whole intro part. It's it's man. It's uh, a yeah. kind of kind of got goosebumps. It's like really intense. Uh, yeah, exactly. Kind of scary too, but uh, in a good yeah, way. And the and the switch in the chords uh, further on in the track is also really nice. It's got like a nice switch. Yeah, it's really refreshing. Uh, yeah. Yep. So yeah. Well done. I say let's move forward. <laughs> yeah. Let's move forward. All right. Uh, for everybody who just uh, tuned in, uh, we're just listening to remixes everybody made of the Tea Time Talent Show jingle. Um, but they also made original tunes. Uh, and with those original tunes, they got through to the finals. Uh, I'm going to play you a very short mix now. It's just one minute um, from the original tunes. And then we're going to continue with the other remixes. Wait, oh, no, fuck me. I was, <laughs> I was confused. I was like, no, this is the jingle I'm playing. It's the wrong video. But <laughs> it's supposed to be the jingles because it's the remixes. Wait. Oh, man, this is such a mindfuck. We should never have done this. Yeah, it's it's this so is, complicated. This is too much of a mindfuck. All right. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to select the right video now. It should be <laughs> Tea Time Stand Show Mini Mix Finale. Okay. Oh man, it's it's really. <laughs> it's, what, what, it's, what, what were we calling it again? Robin, Robin fever. Robin fever. <laughs> I'm is, having Robin fever a, today. I'm, this is I'm, Robin <laughs> fever having hard guys. Can not as not as smooth as usual. All right, I think this is the right video. It's a mini mix of the original tunes everybody made. again okay <laughs> what a nightmare what yeah a nightmare have you have you been drinking i saw someone in the comments asking if you were drunk robin tell us ah uh, yeah no i i really think it's the it's a fever um and i i, I had, a, had a cup of coffee before this because I, I don't really drink coffee anymore but today was a bit of a slow day and i thought well I'll just have a coffee to make sure that i'm really sharp and on point you know because this is the finale and it has to be good and it wasn't <laughs> and it wasn't oh man come on we still, we still love you yeah if, if, okay well everybody in the comments please heart uh, send us your hearts or whatever heart react give robin some love he needs it he needs it believe more than in ever. me oh wait, and i'll believe in actually, myself wait. We can actually hmm? also send heart. Like yeah. here, look at Yeah. Heart, Come on, heart. send him. Oh, give him to me. To oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is for you, Robin. We, st we still love you. Uh, thanks, guys. Please don't mess up again. If you mess love up you again, back. You, will, you will get one of these. Where, uh, one of these. Okay. All right. Focus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so the next tune is uh, the remix is by Method. Um... And Method actually has two tunes uh, that are in the final round. It's uh, Hefty, which is a real club track, and Fire In My Head, which is more like an anthem, so to say. But also a club track. Yeah, a club anthem. Club it is. anthem, bam. Um, and yeah, he also made a remix, and he's going to explain what he did in this video. 
Hey, this is Method and you're about to hear my remix for the Tea Time Talent Show. For this remix, I wanted to show a different side of me, something that you haven't seen from me yet. Uh, so I decided to challenge myself and make a liquid drum and bass remix for this one. The first thing I did when I started this remix was pick the element that I wanted to work with from the original track. And for me, that was the vocal hook of the jingle. Uh, then I started building the drop. So that involves finding the right drums, finding a bass that fits with the drums. Uh, and then of course, filling it up with that vocal hook and seeing where I can use it the most, because the more it comes back, the more it stays in your mind. Uh, so I, I tried to use that throughout the track. From there on, it sounded all right, uh, but it was still missing something. And you can compare it to fries without mayonnaise or without sauce. You know, it's all right, but it, it's just lacking something. It's incomplete. So I decided to add a melody to fill up that empty space. After that, I was pretty pleased with the results. You know, it sounds good. It was like a proper liquid tune, I would say. Uh, but for this remix contest, I felt like it was just a bit boring. It didn't have uh, like that special thing. It was like literally fries with mayonnaise. It's something you can get at every snack bar on the corner. Uh, so I wanted to change it up and get something uh, that you've never tasted before. And that's basically where it escalated from simple fries with mayonnaise into fries stuffed by ghost peppers layered in caramel cream. Uh, so I hope you like it. Oh man, I'm hungry okay. now. Yeah. <laughs> I What's like up fries, with all actually. these fries, man? All these fries. What's up with all these fries? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I bet that if you look at his rider, you you can see like fries with mayonnaise on there or something. No, like, but not whatever. just with mayonnaise. You know, it it's gotta have that little extra. Yeah, like <laughs> chili, chili, something. Chili, I don't yeah. know, man. But anyway, <laughs> this I, I like the analogy though, extras, right? He's, he yeah. was Lex versus Ghost producer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about that last week. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the, uh, yeah. In case you missed it, so everybody knows again. Yeah. Uh, he's a mastermind <laughs> behind Lexus. It's crazy. <laughs> All right. Uh, but anyway, let's play a track, right? Yeah. 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 As he explained, he made uh, a liquid remix of it, and it's pretty emotional. So get ready and try not to cry. Oh no, I'm about to cry. Oh boy. No, it's okay, you can cry. <laughs> Good job. Ah, oh, this is I such a medley. Before. Yeah. <laughs> We're going for the second drop? I think we are, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody Why? Why needed though? our advice and, um, and made a different second drop because we said we only play it if the second drop is different. 
we should be careful with the things we I say, I should man. not have said that. I should not have said that. <laughs> Better be good now with a second drop. Yeah, fist bump. Okay, it, it was it was worth it. It was fun. Yeah, right. But I hope we didn't like inspire the whole new generation of producers to do this four to the floor uh, drum <laughs> bass thing on the second drop. <laughs> <laughs> Don't overdo it, guys. But do it like yeah, subtly. It's a tea time talent show. I'm not gonna play the jingles anymore. I'm just gonna sing them. That way, I know I won't mess up. Actually, it's, it's really funny because the first uh, version of that jingle, Robin actually sung himself. Yeah. And then <laughs> I still got it somewhere. I, I wish I had it. I had it now. I wish I could play this oh, one. Yeah. But uh, then we gave it to Mara, and she did the vocal in the end. Yeah. Which we, is, we we should have I, we should have used that actually for this final round, but I don't have it set up now. So. Are you Too bothered bad. by the light, by the way? Over there? Is it okay? It's it's like heaven is over there. It's it's yeah, actually it's, a big it's, star. It's, it's very epic, actually. Oh, nice. It's getting epic in here. You're an angel. <laughs> I'm all dressed in white now. I'm an angel. Oh, oh my, my little Gandalf, angel. Gandalf the white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, I think Yurian has like the best suit so far. Definitely, you yeah. You should just stand up, show your suit. I also have like a piano, uh, how do you call this? A piano thing. It's oh really man, like... you, they should have one of those made, you know, you have those roll-up keyboards, you know? Like they're very thin yeah. and you can roll them up. They should oh, make right. a tie and out of that like so, so you could actually play it, you know? Like no uh, you're, you're on stage, you're like DJing or whatever, and then suddenly <laughs> you start playing your tie. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we need to do this shit. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Let's copyright this shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, anyway, anyway, back to the track. We're getting yeah. distracted once again. Okay. Uh, so yeah. First yeah, he he went he went crazy with it. Uh, like it, if if I would would judge it as a tune, I would say um, the beginning part is is like it's really solid. You know, it's. Uh, it's even very emotional. We were joking about the crying, but for for real, it even when it's you you hear yeah. the, that jingle vocal and then it drops, it, it it really hits me. That's funny, right? It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. And I I like I like the fact that he also like integrated his other tracks into yeah. this remix. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That was my next thing. I I really like all the things he did, like integrating those tracks. Um, and obviously also the the second drop which is different but tune wise i would say it, it's a bit unnecessary you know but for for this assignment it's it's a fun uh yeah like gimmick extra uh, yeah. Yeah. definitely definitely yeah. it's it's not supposed to be super serious exactly I, mean, I, I, I think i think matt also would not use like three different leads no, in one track no, or something That's no no like, it, it's pretty obvious but i i still wanted yeah. to say it um yeah. Still wanted to say it. Still want. I mean, you have to complain. Wanted to have something Robert to say. Yeah. To complain, yeah. You know, this yeah. tune sucks. <laughs> yeah. Everybody worked on oh. it all week, but it's still not good enough for me. Okay. <laughs> no, okay great job. One. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's time to go to the next one. And that one so now is don't from. Mess it up. Play the proper video. No, first I'm gonna switch the names. Look at me switching the names. Boom, Skyfade. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Is it the yeah. last one actually? It's already the last remix. Yeah. Jesus, again, I'm getting emotional again. Wait, where is it? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Getting emotional again. Oh, that was the wrong one. There we <laughs> go. 
So yeah, he made uh, Switch Funk, um, the tune. And yeah, he also cool. made a remix. And now I'm going to play you the right video in which he tells you something about the tune. Hey guys, thanks for having me in the final round. And yeah, you choose the wrong week for this because I had so much stuff to do in the garden. And yeah, about the tune, I there's basically not much to say about it, about the process, because yeah, I, I dragged the stems in and found the melody and from there on I, I built everything up, made a little different second drop of course, and yeah, I hope you like it, thanks for everything and cheers. Oh man. oh man, he was not happy. I feel so sorry for you. We, we didn't mean. We didn't mean to. We didn't mean it. But we're sorry. <laughs> oh. oh my god! And it was such yeah, an informative video. You know, I I really feel like I've learned something about his process in the studio. That's true. It's yeah. like he uses stems. That's like creative. It is. That's like something different. You know. No one, no one uses stems nowadays, <laughs> right? No. <laughs> what are stems? I don't know. No, actually, I think he actually made his mu the music at, like using a computer and software, I believe. But that's not real music. No, no, that's not real music. I mean, it's like you have to use actual instruments and recording no, no, with no, your phone. No, 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 no instruments. Just sing with your voice and only sing about about the Lord. Otherwise, it's okay. it's from hell and it's not real music. But luckily for him, it's not about this. It's not about making videos, but it's about making music. It's about yeah. making yeah. fucking music. You're right, yeah. man. It is. So, okay. Listen to his tune. Yeah, we're gonna listen to his tune. And while the video was not that amazing, the remix actually is. So here it goes. Yep. I can't, I can't believe it's actually the Tea Time Talent Show jingle. Amazing what using stems can do. <laughs> That's true. Second drop. 
Yes. Yeah, because he also listened to us and made uh. a crazy second drop. Yeah, slow it down. What's happening? Didn't see that one coming, man. No. Well, I did oh, actually, again. because because his first tune was also like on a really high level, you know. But uh, oh yeah. yeah, you're new all it's... along. <laughs> I knew, in I hindsight, knew all along. <laughs> kept in hindsight. <laughs> kept in hindsight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I, I was surprised once again. It's, it's really, it's really yeah. pretty sick. Yeah. Just yeah. replace the Tea Time Talent Show vocal with something else, and you're ready to go. Yep. Exactly, it's it, it's a complete tune, you know. Uh, I I really uh, felt this uh, this build part also, you know, with the with the lead sound. Yeah. It really has an epic feel, you know. It, it really wanna it makes me wanna play it in the club. Yeah, that bit, definitely, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, and I think, uh, uh, obviously I really liked that he did a tempo change. Uh, it was really creative and it, it was not forced, you know. It's, uh, oh. Even if he were to release it as an actual tune, uh, I'd say keep it in because it's it sounds very natural. Um, it it yeah. went super smooth, man. It went super yeah. smooth. So uh, yeah, definitely keep it in. It's always good to have tunes like this, like as a DJ, if you want to switch up the yeah, mix, uh, definitely. you can use it as a tool, you know. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So. These were all the remixes. Oh my all god. All four of them. Yeah. Are we opening the poll now? Uh yeah, we are opening the poll now. Uh everybody can vote. Um just remember to vote uh, when you vote. Think about the remixes they did, uh, obviously, but also the tunes they made, which uh, we played earlier. And uh, if you follow the vote link, you can vote on who you think should be the winner of the Tea Time Talent Show. Perfect. Yeah. Wait, did we already post the vote link uh, in a? In I did somewhere. Yeah, you did. Perfect. It's in yeah. the description of um, the video. It's online now on our on our website. Um, well, we're fixing everything. Uh, we're gonna play you a very short mix of all the um, the remixes. And get voting, get voting. Get voting right about now.
There we are. <laughs> could you? <laughs> Good morning. What a nice surprise. Morning, could could you, you maybe man. could you maybe turn your camera to horizontal view? Ah, oh, horizontal view. Just hold on a sec. <laughs> if if you just put your phone if you just put your phone in landscape, Jeff, it should work. Wait, oh, th this is this is not right. Wait, What's happening not, now? It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Or is this camera what off happened? now? Okay, oh, oh, just, just 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 keep it vertical. It's it's okay. Uh, oh no, it's oh, working. Yeah. Oh, oh, so sexy. Oh. <laughs> you to explain. Out, man. Oh uh, man, what time is it over anyway, there? Yeah. Um, this is how the show becomes a cam girl show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, what, what, what time is it there in Australia? Uh, <laughs> he is dead. <laughs> it's um, two, 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, oh man. man. Oh shit. We're so grateful you're doing this. We're so grateful. Yeah. Did you go to sleep, Jeff? Yeah. So you've been as how long have you been asleep for? Three hours. Oh, uh, buddy. That's just messed up, man. But well, actually, there, you can also see it as an opportunity to start your day now. Oh, that's oh. a that's a big that's a big boy move. No, I need, <laughs> yeah. I, need more than, I need more than three hours sleep, and um, yeah, I don't know where I was though in my sleep sequence because I had I'd let, I normally sleep with my phone on like um my phone's normally always on silent. I knew this was happening, so I left it off silent. And the phone makes a lot of noises at night, hey, and I wasn't sleeping very well. <laughs> oh, God. I'm glad I woke up for it. <laughs> oh, man. I feel so sorry for you. But anyway, anyway, to, to properly start, how are you guys? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm really good. Awake. <laughs> um. It's coming to the end of my day. I'm like one hour behind you, uh, behind uh, you and Holland. So um, it's seven seven p.m. at night for me. Well, safe, safe. So, so how how's it working actually for you guys now, being in like completely different uh, territories? How does how does it work? Like your your music routine and stuff like that. So it's actually quite good because we so like I'll I'll basically wake up to uh, some messages from Jeff. And maybe some demos or some notes on songs that I can uh, work on in the day, or maybe emails that I have to get to. And then at the end of my day, I can then leave him with things that he then wakes up to. And sometimes, Damn. especially if he's work working at night, we'll kind of have quite a lot of crossover period of uh, a time when we're both in the studio. So it's actually quite useful. It's I fucking efficient. It's like yeah. you're a company yeah. that's like 24 7. Yeah, yeah. Music. it's like McDonald's, you know, where where the kitchens like switch up after each other. It's yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is, yeah. You're like the McDonald's of the drum and bass. McDonald's of the drum and bass. I think um, okay. The other thing. Well, anyway, we're using anyway, the first official. Well, uh, I we were still <laughs> saying something. I think with the sleepy yeah, hat. I think so. Wait, wait, wait. Get back. What were you saying? Uh, Oh, um, we're using um, Slack. Have you ever used Slack? Which is like yeah. a, a computer. It's like a management tool, but it's like yeah. really good for um, uh, keeping up to date with stuff because we were realizing we we're just having these really long conversations in WhatsApp One and, and stuff. Yeah. And um, But yeah, having that is a um, very, very uh, efficient way of communicating. Revolution. I sound like I've done a Slack ad. Actually, I, I've kind of looked at Slack before, Slack. but but I I didn't really understand like the additional benefit of Slack compared to just having multiple whatever Facebook chats or WhatsApp chats. Um, it allows at least for us, it allows us to like um have like lots of little channels. Like we'll start a channel about a song or a bootleg we're working on, um, and then we can just talk about that subject in that channel. Um, so we've got a channel about, um, you know, whether it's the songs, whether it's like samples we're sending each other, project links, Dropbox links. It means stuff. that things don't get lost. Yeah. Stuff always just gets lost in conversations we have. Cause I don't know, uh, you know, even, even now sometimes we'll, um, 
we'll send each other a demo at the end of the night and we'll send it on WhatsApp. Like now we send it on Slack as well, but so often before you'd be like, ah, oh, fuck, I want to listen to that demo. You go scroll through back the countless ridiculous conversations mm. we've had in the meantime to yeah. look for that thing. <laughs> And, or you ask the other person, you're like, hey, can you send, resend me that? And they, they're not available to resend it. Or like, it, it just kind of, it makes it way more efficient. It, Man, it makes you guys really are the McDonald's of drum base. Like, efficiency, yeah, 24-7 available. This is crazy. Yeah, and we sent so <laughs> many faxes. It's amazing. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> okay. Well, the first official question, let's get down to business, is which of the four remixes... What's your personal favorite? Jeff, you can go first. <laughs> yeah. right. Because you've been watching the entire show from your bed, I guess. <laughs> I have. I know all. Um, <laughs> I, I, re- I, I thought they were, they were all, oh, firstly, they were all really good. Um, uh, and they all showcased a lot of different like um, skill sets. Like All the producers that do really cool stuff. But for me, it was the... Uh, the sky fade one there was just too much too much in that um to to ignore i I kind of thought the song could have stopped at at the three minute mark and then it kept going i was like you just just keep flexing on this thing but yeah lots of ideas lots of interesting stuff and um yeah i'm looking forward to see what that guy does next same but robin i think Jeff also made something for us. Yeah. I we don't should, think we should play it, that. He, he, he de- didn't make it as long as uh, as the other uh, remixes. <laughs> but it was still pretty fun to hear. Oh no, there's not a remix coming. Please, when will it ever Tea end? Tea Time Talent Show, Echo Remix. <laughs> <laughs> Very jungly, Jeff. Yeah, this is a winner. (laughs) You just won a a slot at high (laughs) T and the release. Oh, this is what you always wanted. Oh, Oh, and we're we're releasing this. No, seriously, I fucking loved it. It was so funny. We um, we we just asked the uh, the guys, hey, uh, would would you want to join us for the next Tea Time Talent Show? And we we explained what we're gonna do, and then we we're gonna ask all the producers to come up with a remix. And um, well, Bo, Jeff, and and Jono said, well, we'll do a remix ourselves. And that's just fucking crazy. I love that. I love that guy. <laughs> Thank you for it. So no. anyway, Jono, my man. What was your favorite? Um, I have to be kind of uh, boring as well and agree with Jeff. The Sky Fade one was a standout. Like all the other ones, I liked how different they all were. Uh, I appreciated the melody in Methods. Is it Method? Yeah. Yeah. Method. Method. The the liquid one. Yeah, yeah, and I think his mix, his mix was really good. Um, but the Sky Fade one, the thing that grabbed me from the Sky Fade one was was the um, the end, like the electro mousetrap. <laughs> uh, reminded me of Maud Fustang. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and like that was a vibe. And then I kind of re-listened to it, and just yeah, I, I, like the main bass sound and just everything was so upfront and well produced and punchy i just think it kind of grabbed me by the face and throttled me so that <laughs> one was kinky yeah <laughs> yeah okay well win. anyway i think we have uh, another remix to play then robin no right or did you also make a remix he did he said he would hold on oh. you did you didn't you right Jono? You. You. no I thought no, we just no, made no. one. Oh, I thought yeah, yeah. One. I <laughs> it, it, it was just the one. Oh, no. Yeah. Wait, I, sw- I swear you said in the chat. Yeah, they, they said well. they would do it, but they didn't. Oh, oh man. Oh, I, didn't rem- I don't remember that. 
Oh, you talk I'm like sure. a real politician, you know? I don't recall that. <laughs> <laughs> it was you that said it as well, John. You were like, we'll both make one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I recall feel... you said oh. this shit. Oh, <laughs> man. I'm so embarrassed now. Or maybe, okay. Um, Give me... Uh, can you give me 15 minutes after we finish our segment? Well, if, if you if you send it uh, in time, we might be able to play it at the very end of the show. Yeah. How long <laughs> have I got? Not I long. Think, I think. Ooh, after the call. I think I just think 10 or 15 minutes. No, I think you can't make it. But what you can do is you can still record it for us and then we just post a video underneath as a separate additional appendix or something okay yeah like a special pages or or we'll just stay online after the stream just with a with a black screen <laughs> and then and then we play oh, it like after a couple of minutes like a hidden bonus track uh, wait, inside wait. the no, stream no, guys. okay wait i got this after after this the stream ends We'll go back to this view. We'll just leave it on so you can see Jono work. And we'll give him 15 hey, minutes. Jeff sleep. <laughs> Jeff can sleep. <laughs> with the camera on. <laughs> watch. Okay. No, we should do this. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so, Sky... Uh, uh, which, which, which one was it? The method one or was it? Skyfade. 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 Okay, yeah. Skyfade it is. Once again, amazing track. Um, yeah. So, question number two. The quarantine, naturally, we have to address this. Yes. So, apart from your, 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 your like, what, what would we call it, McDonald's routine? Um, <laughs> what is your daily routine? Um, mine is waking up, exercising, drinking tea, uh, nice, meditating, nice. eating breakfast, and then either talking to Jeff on the phone or talking to my parents on the phone. Um... And then trying to get to work, uh, either music or admin or that type of thing. Uh, and that basically switches between working on music or talking to people on the phone. So okay. I, over lunch, I might speak to someone on the phone and et cetera, et cetera. And that just swaps. But is it like any different compared to your normal routine? <laughs> I, not really. I mean, like, I leave <laughs> kind of sounded like that to be honest. Real like, producer I, I leave, life. I, yeah, like I, I leave the house a lot less because um, cause, like I mean, obviously before I I did have like a part time job, so I was I was leaving the house a bit, but it's not really that much of a shock to the system. I think for all music producers, I would say that the quarantine isn't super difficult in that in that sense because we're so used to just being by ourselves and. Staring at a computer screen for extended periods of time, right? That's true. True, when yeah. Gigs, that's that's like the moment when you can get it all out, you know. When you can enjoy not being life. in your bedroom. You I, I do miss that because I, I always yeah. I always really that's like the true. contrast between working yeah. quietly all week and then in the weekend it's completely the opposite, like party. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that was. I would. Yeah. I, I would like to have. I'd just, I'd love to go to like a pub with a few friends. Like, imagine if we were doing this, but in like a pub. Oh yeah. God! And just like chatting and just talking, talking ridiculous stuff. Like, I, I can't yeah. wait for that to happen. And I Same think, too, yeah, I think that's starting to maybe get to me. But it's, but it's, but it's all right. And Jeff, is your routine any different now in the quarantine, or is it also still the same? Um. There's a there's a few different things. Um, I'm I'm actually still working with my other job, so I'll still do some uh, coffee related stuff. So it's like roasting coffee and delivering coffee. Um, Damn, I didn't know, man. No, uh, all into coffee. Yeah. So um, <laughs> like the enemy, it's the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Seize him. <laughs> um. So. Uh, so I'm still I'm still having like uh, contact, not contact, but like seeing lots of areas that used to be busy that are no longer busy because people are working at home. Um, but also I'm quite lucky here where it hasn't. Uh, it, Perth particularly has been very good at um, managing its cases and things like that. So 
Well, we've had the a. Fuck! Look at this! Look at this, guys! What, what the fuck? Yeah, this guy! Hey! This, guy. <laughs> this is live? Oh my god! This guy was watching <laughs> the stream and he just. <laughs> Hey guys, I just wanted to join in, in person. So... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! You should have security <laughs> over there. <laughs> it's all messed up. <laughs> you guys, yeah. This way, yeah. like oh, 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 boom! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my! Okay, right. well, um. Okay, I'm completely lost. Where were we, man? Oh. <laughs> uh, Pert is doing well in this. Yeah. Uh, doing well with his cases. Yeah. So it's it's like um, we're locked down, but it's not um, uh, as severe. If uh, as, yeah, it's not as severe. So um, I'm being aware. Everyone's being safe and things like that. But um. I think the main thing is that I'm spending a lot more time um, uh, with my parents. Well, that's, that's good. Nice. I guess. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which is which is something that, like, as a you know, as we all know, as a busy music producer, it's easy to like spend time with your either the you know, at a show, um, you know, working on music or with other people. And I've actually been doing a lot of stuff with my parents. So like we'll watch, sit down and watch a movie. We've been playing some Scrabble, <laughs> um, right. things like, things like that. So, I mean, that, that's been, that's been really nice. Um, otherwise I would say that, you know, as, as one of my um, friends, well, one of our friends here pointed out, who's a pu music producer is like, man, I've been shaking hands with my elbows for years. Cause I play basketball and I'd never see anyone because I because I sit in a dark room and make music all day. So this is basically normal life for me. <laughs> <laughs> is that just? Well, I mean, uh, that, that's kind of kind of okay. I mean, if nothing changes, that's yeah. good, I guess. I, in this, I, miss, I miss nightclubs though, and I went through. I I miss clubs, and I miss the ability to um. Uh, like get together. You realize how much you did socialize and in with and like take for granted that ability to just be like hey do you want to come over yeah. oh yeah so i'll yeah, see man. you at this place yeah. i'll meet you at this place and oh are you going to that thing like i'd go out every weekend and like even if it was a big thing small thing or even just to just to hang out you're around people and i became yeah. on the last weekend you could go out i went out and saw serum and ninja and nina kravis um Whoa. And, uh, yeah, two different shows, not the same show. <laughs> okay, I was like, what the <laughs> fuck, what kind of weird show was that? <laughs> um, and, um, and I was so conscious of everyone, because I'd just come back from Japan as well. I was, like, pretty conscious of this, like, virus thing. But, like, um, <laughs> man, people were just coughing, people, like, talking really close to you in a nightclub while you've got your drink and they're like oh, uh, mate how are you that? <laughs> like, that song you worked on like you know can we talk about the snare drum and you're like <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> and um yeah so I, I i think it's gonna create a lot of um people that are super super conscious of their space and germs and all sorts of things so i think it's gonna be a different world to come back into and i don't yeah. think it it that like it never fully gripped um, her, so I can only imagine what it's like to be in a what it will be like to be in a place um, like uh, you know Italy or New York or Spain. That's crazy or, man! Uh, that. Yeah. Okay, well, this leads into my next question: How many rolls of toilet paper do you own? Um, ah, I think we got we got a few. Um, Mom, and, know, like, Mom and you guys have been collecting for a while. Like, <laughs> there's, there's, there's something about, well, I don't know what it was, but um, my before all this happened, I mean, before all this happened, there was just always an excessive amount of toilet paper <laughs> in our house anyway. Yeah, well, you're so good, man. You're you were for, like, preppers. For years. Yeah. And this is, yeah, this is years. This is, this is not like a... a 
six month thing. This is like a it's because it's twenty because, year thing. It's because um I think mum would buy um she'd always buy like three big like twenty four pack things and so like they just stack up. And I remember going into like where they they were sitting like in the corner of this bathroom and just being like, why have you got so much? But now it's become increasingly apparent that she knew all along that this was going to happen. It's crazy. <laughs> Mothers know everything. <laughs> yeah, they do. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Um, I, on the other hand, only have four rolls. And That's only crazy using... for how much you shit. I know. <laughs> right. It's like one um, day's okay. worth of toilet paper. But I've got a bath. <laughs> I've now got a bath in the house that I moved into, so that cuts out of like <laughs> half my toilet paper. <laughs> <No. laughs> well, I kind of found out today that I only have one roll, so I oh, should oh. get more. Oh, I think. Is it is it uh, is it shortaging uh, in Holland too? I mean, yeah, it's, it's actually, like right, right now the, in my supermarket there is a lot. You know, because uh, there used to be a bit of a shortage. So now they bought all these toilet paper rolls, but the hype was over really soon. And now yeah. they have all these oh, uh, rolls of toilet paper with discounts. It's, the hype over? <laughs> it's, a, it's on special now. Like, fuck, I, wa- I really wanted to like buy a lot and then kind of show my wealth to the world. <laughs> like I yeah. own all this toilet paper. How about you? Just TP yourself. <laughs> That's fancy now, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dressing is like a mummy or something to her. Yeah. It's not oh, like he's so you. rich. He's so oh, rich. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, this anyway, is like anyway shirt, enough, it's, it's enough about the quarantine. Paper. Enough about the quarantine and the toilet paper. Uh, how how's your music uh, getting along? And a new release is coming up. Uh, we have a we're currently finalizing our next single, Ooh. Uh, which is gonna come out it's difficult because i mean like releasing music at this time is a bit is a bit hard and we've had some some uh things that have been pushed back so i think it's probably going to come out now in sometime in june i would say but we're at the right at the end right at the end of finishing this 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 next single and it's a thing with vocals and a bit more of a uh melodic adventure for echo and sidetrack uh nice, so nice. it's yeah so it, it's good it's um yeah it's good full of, I, full of feeling uh, full of feeling i was about to say you should send it over to me man because i want to play it out but then i realized <laughs> <laughs> we're not able to play out anything send it over to me i'll play it out to myself in my room alone <laughs> Isn't it, um, weird, isn't it weird now that everyone's just doing streams and people are like, oh, send me, send me a tune. I, I play on a stream. Sounds like, oh. That's right. We can we play have... it on a stream. But, yeah, but you, don't you, wanna, get, you don't want that. You don't, you don't want it heard on the, like, on, on the internet, really. So you're like, oh, no, nah, maybe I won't send it to you. And then you're yeah. thinking, like, well, hang on. No one's going to film this and it's going to be put on DMB All Stars before it comes out. So, like, maybe this is the right climate to you know put it on a stream or something else it's a really weird it's i think it's quite a strange time it's an interesting time to release music i think definitely yeah it's completely different need a new approach to it i guess yeah i think we've 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 had a chat with a few people about um like what it's meant for them i i i feel for like um uh, Max and Katie Coven, who basically put out an album and was all set to tour it, and then everything got postponed and cancelled and stuff. So they've they've really kind of like put all this music out into the world, and then just like now they have to wait to be able to like push it. Um, and I think there's a I, I know I think this could be some sort of world exclusive. <laughs> I think Pendulum were meant to put out some new music as well, and yeah. uh, and uh, they've been they've uh, they're re looking at what their schedule looks like because as well as it being um, uh, what's it called 
an interesting different type of foot music out and not being able to um, play it. It's also like, is it a crowded market or is it, um, is there lots of space? Like, and your whole promotion, uh, schedule would be different like yeah if you because if you if you put out a piece of music and you got lots of djs playing it then you get a premiere on a youtube channel a youtube channel um and then you've got like you know all this press and other like, videos and stuff to go with it you know the the lack of the inability for you to play all these shows and dj it out means that you're basically back to doing what a, a, a very small label would do, which is like, uh, we're going to rely on word of mouth and some snappy internet videos yeah. and trying to Definitely. yell as much as we can on Facebook. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with, with yelling, you know, it, 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 it did a trick before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does. And that, that's the thing. It's like, this is a bit of like, everyone's at like the base again, like starting again. But I think what the cool thing will be is, um, you know, depending on how long it lasts in certain places, um, it'll be. It's like some people are really relishing the opportunity to try all this new media or like experiment with some stuff um, that they have never experimented with. And now, what kind of music is that going to inspire? I hope our um, you know, I hope it's comes for uh, it creates lots of new ideas and that it doesn't fatigue people. It, you know, after three months, you know, people are going to hear the word live stream and go, "No, yeah, man, yeah, I'm already hating the word." To it's, be honest, I'm, yeah, I'm like kind of embarrassed we're even doing a live stream, but I hope we're doing an original live stream at least. <laughs> oh, yeah, true, it's something different. Woo. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> it's definitely a good that live is, stream. It's original. <laughs> nice. I was getting a proper live stream. We should we should like do one big online orgy with all DJs. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's a, that's a great idea. Yeah, we should do that. Okay, I'll, I'll schedule it for next week. I'll drop you guys an email. Um, I, think, I think like the live streaming thing is is maybe. I don't. I don't know. Like I, I was thinking uh, because I saw that Prototypes did a twenty-four hour thing on the weekend. Um, high contrast live streamed last night. Like there's lots of streaming going on to the point where you can almost pick and choose who you want to watch, even more so than uh, at, a, at a music festival or something. And if you've, you know, if you've got like a decent sound setup uh, and you're living with friends, you can turn up the music and basically have a party in your house. And it's it, it totally not the same as going to a rave with a bunch of other people, but it's like pretty close. I think as a punter, they're not, that kind of thing is not going to get old that quickly because they, you know, raving for the, for them didn't get, didn't get old. Like I, I would assume that we all experience raves and, and clubs in a kind of different, uh, different way. Uh, it's more of like where we're kind of working, we're networking. That's like our job. We're we're viewing it in a different way. But for punters, I think the live stream thing is is going to have quite a long lifespan. And I mean, I'm I, I feel the same way when I see live stream. I'm like, there's only so much you can do with it with the medium. And I I, I do like that you guys are doing this type of thing because this is different and this is exploring uh this is being creative within the medium but i you know i think live stream festivals and that type of thing i wouldn't be surprised if i mean glastonbury glastonbury is cancelled but i wouldn't be surprised if there's a glastonbury festival live stream that goes for two days and that would be sick maybe you could have different channels and each channel is a stage yeah yeah i I mean I, i think there's actually something like that happening already i think yeah. I think my mom even sent me a link to some sort of <laughs> festival website where you can see different st- like different stages and whatever, something like that. Sick, yeah. So okay. I, I think something like that's already coming. But also, plus, like what what you said about the people raving at home, I think what we kind of underestimate is I think a lot of people are actually doing like drugs and drinking while watching the live streams, and then it becomes way more inter- interesting to yeah. to do it, I guess. <laughs> oh, sure, like man, pe- people are gonna party, people are gonna people are gonna do drugs, people are gonna people are gonna drink no matter what. And I think like 
around friends and you're becoming inebriated, you can get pretty close to the real thing. You yeah. know, like true, yeah. Through, through a DJ, I would say doing a live stream in your bedroom, it's a major difference because you obviously can't feed off the energy of five hundred people, a thousand people, or something like that. Fucking that's depressing, crazy. man. That's what it is for a DJ. Yeah. But that's what I, I, I really like that you do have a chat, you know, and uh, you can still see how the people respond to everything. Like, you know, yeah. uh, when we had uh, at the Korsakov live stream a uh, couple of uh, weeks back, and we even did a little call and response, you know, and people were like typing the response in the comments. That's and cool. yeah, cool. It, it, it's fun to have a completely new way uh, to connect with the audience. But you do need to have that option with a chat so, to know that people are actually watching and uh, what they're thinking of it, how they're responding. Yeah, true, true, yeah. true. Okay. Anyway, guys, I think we have to uh, head to the end of the co of the call because otherwise uh, this, this is going to take too long. I know us; we'll, we'll end up talking for hours, and uh, yeah. I think Jeff should sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I say thank you guys once again I can't wait until all of this crap is over uh, and we're gonna party again and probably uh, probably more like sexual yeah. stuff I mean I'm yeah. up for anything after Definitely. quarantine yeah. uh, I think that's when we really need to push the limits of our uh, our sexual uh, appetites yeah <laughs> agreed man definitely yeah. agreed I mean we're like in Holland everything is okay here You're, you guys are welcome to stay over I mean, yeah. I heard Robin has a real big bat. No, <laughs> yeah, Robin, Robin actually has like one of these circular bats. You know what I mean? No, like, like a these. Bath. Yeah, that's yeah. like oh, wow. like a round bat. And also yeah. water base. With heart-shaped yeah. pillows on it and everything. Yeah. It's, it's real crazy. romantic. <laughs> you, you, you guys, you guys see when we have you over at IT. You'll see. <laughs> that's exactly what okay. we're into. Anyway, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. I was, we're sorry about your sleeve, Jeff. No, Get okay. back to it. <laughs> it's so nice to see you guys. I love you all. <laughs> yes, Likewise, thanks, man. guys. Love back. Guys. All right. Love you. Cheers, guys. Bye bye. 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 bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> oh, the screen's all messed up, and we're good. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> okay, that took that took longer than, than we uh, than we thought, but that's always the case with these calls. Yeah. Yeah, it's so it's nice to see to see them again, you know, because you, we we don't see our DJ friends uh, as much yeah, now. True. Now we don't have shows. Yeah, and we don't have friends. Oh wait. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It's, Love it's you guys. Always cool. oh, good to have <laughs> chat with us. Guys. Anyway, anyway, where were we, man? I hope the people voted by now. Uh, yeah, because I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna play the the short mix of the remixes again. Then yeah. we're going to make our final decision about um, who we think is the winner. And um, we're going to reveal the winner of the voting. Definitely. And okay. Yeah. I that, that, we, we, we'll, know, we'll know who the winner is. Ooh. I'm going to play it.
All right. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm going to vote the closing. The clo what? Vote the closing. The Whoa. I'm still <laughs> not vote there. For closing. <laughs> vote for closing well, right moment. now. <laughs> Close the voting now. All right. Okay. So, so yeah. Basically, basically, we had a chat and. Um, it was a real tough one. It was a real tough one. Be to be honest, um, if we look at, at the original tracks, we thought Method was our favorite one. Uh, but if we look at the remixes, uh, we like the Skyfade one best. So it was going to be between those two for us. And, um, well, we, we just couldn't come to an agreement. So basically what we did was we called it, called it even. And then we looked at uh, the poll to see what the people were voting. And uh, well, Robin, uh, show show us what so, the people yeah. voted. It's very exciting because the people right now can actually make a change. It's, it's literally yeah. the deciding vote. It's like the deci Skyfade deciding had, vote. Yeah. All right. Skyface so, had the same points as Method, so here we go, man. Yeah, we're just going to reveal it. The winner Ooh. of the Tea Time Talent Show 2020 is... Method. Hey! Grab! Yeah, really well deserved, man. Well deserved, it's a fucking yeah. anthem. He, he made and, uh, tw two sick tunes. Um, and the, the remix was all, uh, well, we didn't think it was the best, it was definitely in the top uh choices because it was really emotional really good creative i say it was top four yeah <laughs> top four definitely <laughs> no, it wasn't the worst we loved it and uh, well congratulations to you man we hope to see you at one of our events soon uh, we'll be in touch we got your email address um but yeah just give us some time i, because I think we can thing. be pretty sure we'll see him at one of our events soon no, I, mean, still... I mean, I said I hope because I don't know if he's gonna say yes. Of course, we who still... is not gonna I mean, say can't... yes to a to a gig? We can't force him, but I mean, I'm hoping you you'll say yes because I'm kind of expecting you. No, he, he we'll signed a contract, our... right, saying <laughs> that like he, he would accept the outcome and we could basically do anything we wanted. So we could do anything with 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 him, with with his name, with whatever. Yeah. He belongs yeah, to okay, us now. So anyway, Method, congratulations, man. Every every single person who, who well, got to, through to the finale will get a release, but yours will be on the number one spot. Plus, you'll get a DJ slot on high tea once we're finally able to throw parties again. So big ups, man. Big ups to you. And also big ups to Carrier, Frank Lemon, and uh, Skyfade, because amazing tunes, and we're happy to release their tunes also. Yeah. Really yeah. happy. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to this release, to be honest, guys. Yeah, I think this is, it's a, it's I think a pretty this is gonna big be a good one. one. Yeah. It's really sick. I, I think that that's one of the best things uh, about this show. Like, we never got so many good tunes in, sh in such a short period of time. It's crazy, it's, right? Yeah. yeah. That's really sick. Well, I really yeah, so like uh, that. We should do this again, like once a month or something. Like, once a week is maybe too much, but we should do this again once a month and just see what, what, what people are sending in, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. Yeah, we'll discuss so we, it at the uh, next meeting. We'll discuss it at the next we meeting. We will do that. You can definitely expect more. Yeah, we should. Fuck it. We, okay. We, wait, I mean, you're, are you on board with this? Yep. Okay, it has been decided. It has been decided. Once a month. All right, everybody. <laughs> thank you very much uh, for watching this this uh, last month to all the episodes and the finale. Um, yeah, we hope you like it. And let us know in the comments if you think we should do this more often. And then we will definitely listen to you. And for now, I say bye-bye. Okay. Stay safe. Stay safe, yeah. indeed. Stay healthy. Yeah. And see you the next Tea Time Talent Show. We don't know Ooh. when, but it will happen. <laughs> it will happen. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Okay. All right. Cheers, bye -bye. guys.